In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at configuring stop words for use with Solar. We'll start by defining what stop words are, and then we'll look at how to use the Solar Admin UI in order to get a list of the most common words in our index. Hopefully this will allow us to determine what we might want to add to our stop words list. And finally, we'll update our stop words configuration and then restart Solar so that Solar finds our list of stop words and excludes them from the index. So what are stop words? Really, stop words comes from this idea that in any particular piece of content, there are words that are so common that they're kind of useless in terms of creating relevant search results. Think about the word the, for example, or a or is. These words are so commonly used in the English language that searching for them or the fact that they exist in a title or in the body of our content doesn't really have much impact on how relevant that piece of content is. So what stop words allows us to do is configure a set of words that we would like to exclude from the index. The thing that's tricky about stop words though is there is no one perfect set for every application. In some cases, the word the might have important meaning in the context of the content of your particular application. So I can't say with a certainty that you should exclude the word the or a or that you should include it. There are a lot of articles online that publish uh, common stop words in the English language. So I recommend taking a look at some of those for motivation as, or insight into what might be good words to include in your list of stop words. Another thing to consider too is the fact that stop words, a big part of why they exist is in older times, sites that had so much content and so many words in them, trying to add words like the and is and what and are that don't have a lot of meaning into your index just took a lot of extra processing power and space, making your search slower or harder to scale. These days, I don't think that's as big of a concern, and excluding words like the from your index aren't really going to have any meaningful impact on how fast Solar works, but it could influence the relevancy of results. Anyways, let's get started configuring Solar to use stop words. I think maybe the best place to demonstrate this is by first looking at the list of common terms in our Solar index and then showing how we can exclude some of those using Solar's stopwords.txt file. The easiest way to get this list of words is probably to use the Apache Solar web UI. So if you've got your solar server running and you connect to localhost 8983 or wherever it is that Solar is running, you should see this admin UI. And then I can select the core that contains my index. And then down here on the left is this option for schema browser. So I'm gonna use schema browser and under the field here, I can choose from any of the fields in our particular application, the most meaningful one is probably the TM body dollar sign value field. This is the node body field in our instance. Depending on which fields you have in your index, uh, you might have different ones here, but select any field like so, and you get an analysis of that field. So we've got 550 documents in our index that have content in this field. Some information about, yes, it's tokenized, yes, it's stored, etc. I'm going to click on this load term info button here. And what this does is it loads up a list of the top terms, 10 by default. I could expand this. I could say, show me the top 50 terms. So I can see the top 50 terms in my index. And you start to see that there's just the, to, of, is, and, in. Fish, in our case, is a really common one, which makes sense because our application includes information about fish. So what I want to look at is excluding some of these common words from the index by using Solar's stop words. So you see them there now. What I'm going to do is switch over to my text editor. In my text editor, I'm looking at is the, the root of my Drupal site, and I want to edit the configuration for my Solar server. In this case, I'm going to actually edit the configuration that's part of the index and not the configuration that came with the Search API Solar module that we had installed previously. If I edit that configuration, it's not going to have any impact on Solar itself. So I'm going to edit the example application, and I'm going to go to Solar Collection 1, because I want to edit the configuration for this particular core. And then under Conf, 
or config, there is a bunch of files, some of these which we copied in a different tutorial from the Search API Solar module into the Solar application. Like for example, the schema.xml and solar config, etc. One of them is this stopwords.txt file. This is the one that we're going to be configuring. Before we do that, though, let's take a look at the schema.xml file. So if I open this up and I just search for the word stopwords.txt, I want to illustrate here the fact that how this is all configured within Solar is that when you define a new field type, so here I'm defining a field type name equals text, I configure certain properties about how those fields work. And one of them that I can do is configure a filter class or multiple filter classes. In this case, I'm saying use the Solar stop filter factory. This is the default configuration that we've been using that came with the Search API module. And it says, go ahead and look for a file named stopwords.txt and use the contents of that file in conjunction with the stop filter factory in order to figure out what to not exclude from the index. The other thing that I'll point out here too is that in this case, because we're inside of this analyzer child of the field type with the name of text, we're talking about configuration that happens on text when it's being processed or indexed. You can also add stop words to queries. So you could say exclude the stop word from the query, but have it indexed if you'd like to. There's some interesting debate about whether or not you should include words like the in your index, but then just exclude them from the query and how that affects meaning. We're going to stick with what Drupal does by default, though, and exclude them from the index. Okay, so that's an example. You can continue if you kept searching for other instances of the stopwords.txt text in this file. You'll see which other places it's used or which other field types allow for stop words. It's really just the text fields, though. So there we go. So we've got our stopwords.txt file. That corresponds to this file right here, stopwords.txt inside of our solar configuration. If I edit this file, it's got some documentation here at the top. This link in particular is probably the most interesting part because it explains the syntax of this file. You can go ahead and open that link and take a look at the syntax if you want, but it really boils down to this one word per line for the words that you would like to exclude. So if we switch back over to our site quick, in the Apache Solar Admin UI, let's take a look at excluding these few words up here at the top. The, to, of, is, and, and in. Okay, so I can go over and I'll edit this file. The, to, of, is, and, and in. I think are all the ones we said we wanted to exclude. I'll go ahead and save that. In the real world, I would maybe recommend putting these in alphabetical order so that the list is a bit easier to scan and you can find words that are in it. Sometimes these stop words lists can get to be hundreds or more words long. We'll save that. The thing is, this isn't going to have any effect on our index until we do a couple of things. First, we're going to need to restart Solar to pick up the stopwords.txt that we added. And second, we're going to need to re-index all of our existing content so that it gets re-indexed and knows there is this list of stop words here that it needs to exclude. So let's do that. I'm going to switch to my terminal. The first thing I'll do is, in the tab where I've got Solar running, I'll just quit solar, command C to quit it, and then I'll simply start it up again. So I'm just using the simple start.jar version that came with the download of Apache Solar. So configuration changes generally require restarting solar. The other thing I'll do is if I'm in the root directory for my Drupal site, so you can see here I'm in the users Joe sites doc root directory for our fish finder application. I'm going to use drush to clear and re-index this. I like to do this. I like to say drush and pipe the output to grep and then search for the word search. And this gives me a list of all of the commands related to the search API module. I often can't remember exactly what they are. So search API clear allows me to clear the index. And then I'm also going to use the search API index to re-index all of our content. So first we'll clear so and then we'll run it again but this time instead we'll say index and this will take a second to go through all of our content and re-index it. I'm going to switch back over to the Apache web UI 
now that all of this has been re-indexed. And what we're going to do is reload the term info here. However, we're going to have to wait 120 seconds because you remember that Solar has this idea of making commits. And so when you re-index things in the way Drupal is configured by default, it takes 120 seconds for those changes to the index to appear. So go ahead and wait before you hit refresh. After your changes have been committed to the index, though, and you hit refresh, notice how those words that we added to the stop word list are no longer appearing in the top terms. So we're still looking at the 50 top terms in the body, but the words the, if, is, and, and so forth aren't appearing there. So that's how we would make use of stop words. Configuring stop words is the easy part. You add them to your stopwords.txt file and re-index your content. Knowing which stop words to use, though, is the tricky part. It will involve having a better understanding of your own content. In this tutorial, we talked about the use case for stop words. Really, it comes down to excluding words from appearing in your Apache Solar Index. In order to exclude them from having any relevancy or influencing the relevancy of search results. We then looked at a list of common terms in our own index using the Apache Solar Web UI to get some idea of what terms we might want to exclude. Finally, we added some words to the solar stopwords.txt configuration file, words like the and and that were really common and we didn't want to include in the index, restarted solar, and then re-indexed all of our content, checked the list of common terms again, and noticed that those were all gone. As an exercise, I recommend taking a look at the most common words in the data for your site and trying to determine if any of them should be included in your own stopwords.txt file.